Pikachu got a shocked or something, and then he's like holding Pikachu, and there's like this guy who's like, we've come so far and gone so long, and it's like this like fucking song, but but the song sounded like. They, they were like gaily embracing each other and then you hear like because <laughs> he's like running with Pikachu so I had the genius idea to have him rub his dick against Pikachu's face while he's like <laughs> while he's like running with, and you could hear Pikachu like Did come over Pikachu's face the, like Pika, there's yeah, like just this episode one when Pikachu yeah yeah, yeah 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 and then like Pikachu's like Pikachu <laughs> after he's like fucking doing it and you can keep hearing him go <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like Pikachu was my very first Pokemon that he comes all over his face <laughs> and then it zooms out and it just it got copious amounts of fucking hate and, and it was a, it was the first cartoon I made but is my it still favorite, on Newgrounds? yeah no it is but my favorite cartoon uh, was Brawl 4 that one was a lot I of fun I love Brawl 4 I did Brawl 4 in 6 hours but that was that was me Brawl and 4 is still a, a $13 Walmart mic <laughs> <laughs> and just Noise, just screaming and fucking. I'm like, Lyle, say I used to love doing that with old like mics you buy at Walmart. You just like go. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking yeah, no, balls. I I scream so loud in it that that like I I also told um uh, Drox I was like Drox yell as loud as you possibly can into the mic and he screamed so fucking loud there was this painful like like noise from like when your fucking mic is too loud and it actually breaks and it fucking makes some loud noise yeah. and then I was like that's amazing and I stuck it into the cartoon and I hate you asshole <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did that uh, not just because I thought it would be funny because like I, I I was seeing dick funnies like the brawl taunt stuff it's and only it got funny for <laughs> you nobody else laughs like nobody's hearing their speakers crack going ha ha that's great dude me and Zach <laughs> actually screamed and laughed you know I was yeah, it's, it's, it's a niche person. audience. It's the same people who like uh, who can laugh at people falling down. It's like that sort of stuff. You yeah. laugh at misfortune. The idea of some it being so fucking loud is funny to you. <laughs> Tom, right. is, is there is there anything that any of us uploaded that you were either like disgusted or disappointed or irritated? Or or irritated or do you anything? have a do you have a um, do you have like a monitor so you can like. I, we, can watch a, it, we can watch it later. We can pull up your. I, I want to show you an example of like. <laughs> I did the the wishbone theme song. I turned up the volume three hundred percent. Well, I had, well, I had. It was so fucking loud that it was actually like I couldn't hear when I was like doing the audio because I was a genius who had the volume all the way up. <laughs> the act of clipping like makes you laugh. Speakers, like, oh, this hurts, man. <laughs> the act of clipping people's speakers makes you scream. Oh laugh. yeah, I, I just love the idea. Of what? Who the fuck is clicking on? Uh, Peach Hentai collab by Hulala or, or Golfino and expecting anything but the worst shit ever. <laughs> what do you expect? I actually like, like, like I, those I, guys I, a lot. I, oh, I, I ended up collabing with Hulala and, and that other guy. Hulala, I don't say his name. He kind of just left and went off to be a male nurse. Like that's I it. remember for kids. Yeah. Yeah. I know. He was, I was great what he did. Yeah, he was great, but it, it's really funny he too. He worked really fast. Do you know the story of like Hulala? Have we even told you about Hulala? It, it was... <laughs> What's funny about Hula is he understands certain English words, but if you say his name with certain English words, he'll get really offended. And this one time, we were like, Hula, look at this faggot. And he got so mad because he thought we called him a faggot. <laughs> and it was actually Axel who said it. Who the hell are you talking about? Hula Lau. Oh, like oh. It was just a... His avatar was like a cat. Yeah, he was an artist who did like a... He was of, like a foreign like, artist. He did yeah. like anime so Brazil, yes, think, stuff. No, he was from... South America? He was from... Um, we have Portugal. Portugal. Not Portugal. Um, yeah. Some place in South America. Where is He it? studied a lot. You, oh, you know he was studying Argentina. frame by frame like yeah, a bunch of like Argentina. anime stuff. He had this like beautiful face. His face oh, was, he was fucking beautiful. He was very handsome. But basically, he was absolutely... Absolutely, 100% full racist. Wait, he's dead. <laughs> like he would be like. He would say he's gone. He's dead. No, uh, not Axel. Axel's dead. Like Axel. Axel's dead. But uh, nobody knows who Axel is. Okay, Axel. Axel is gone. And Axel's I'm dead. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I feel like you all have been with me forever. But Axel is a black friend of mine who is dead now. But um. Tell, tell the story of Axel quickly. He basically hated black people, and he, he and he would always send Axel. He'd be like, stupid fucking ape man, and send him pictures of bananas. He would Damn say boy. this. He would say this in text and send him bananas with gorillas all the time and laugh. 
And then, as, and, and it's Axel, funny. Yeah, Axel liked it. You gotta give it to him. As racist as he was, it's pretty no, funny. No, no, Axel liked it so much that he just sort of accepted it. But he's like, I don't know if he's joking or if he actually fucking hates me. But I'm like, no, he actually hates you. And so when he said, Hulalau, look at this faggot, because we were both saying it. He's like, he's he thought he was saying it to him. Um, and so what ended up happening was Hulalao we to, killed him and that's why we, Axel's no, dead no we had to somehow explain to Hulalao that we, no we weren't calling you a faggot we were saying this guy is yeah, a yeah, faggot yeah. we were like it was really hard to explain because he did come into Skype calls and he would like you would hear him like go like I, I would do that, and like in the background what? He, he, what? it's from he, the heart of Africa no he would like say stuff and then he would come on and he'd be like hey bitch Hey, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Like, stuff to people just randomly. Um, but when it, he ended up, like, kind of patching it with Axel, and he drew Axel a picture of him as a black man, which is still on his Newgrounds page, and he's never changed it. Well, because he's dead now. Yeah, so exactly. Really so if you want to see, look up Axel the Navy. There's a picture of him, and it's the one that Hula drew. Is he eating um, bananas and slices of watermelon? I think he's stuff? actually holding a watermelon Stamp. and a banana. I, I'm pretty sure he is, actually. I can't okay. remember. Jeff, you asked a question at the top earlier. I'd like to answer yeah, it. You asked the question. Sorry, I kind of derailed it. But it was it, Hula was a big part of Newgrounds. He was always on all the things, and he was actually, like, um, best in all yep. the people. He was in stuff. a couple of the collabs we did. His final posts, though, sound like he, like, really fell out of love, unless he was just. Maybe the web in general. No, he was just really bitter with a redesign because he. Oh, really? he 2012. Was, <laughs> yeah, no, he. Yeah, he was super bitter because he wanted to. Um, Sorry, I made it better. No, he. Yeah, no, exactly. He wanted to be able to, to release like shitty cartoons and he wanted people to blame it. Oh, you mean from a technical standpoint? Yeah, he didn't like the fact that he couldn't release trash anymore and nobody would blame his cartoons. That's what oh, so that was right that was <laughs> so that weird wasn't, thing. That wasn't redesign related though. Was no, it was, it, it was because like you remember the old design like when stuff was on the flat oh. and you had to click it. This yeah. came in pictures now with like star ratings. Oh, uh, like he went to shock him. Yeah, and, um, maybe, uh, maybe you should cry about it and then become a male nurse or something. <laughs> little bitch <laughs> for kids. I bet he loved working with kids. I was, I'm sorry, Jeff. That's actually something else. The project system changed. Was it used to be that you kept a portal buddy list and you could add your portal buddies to your submission. So spam crews could submit stuff with like their, we had a limit of 10 at the time, so they put their 10 spam friends on oh every God, submission. Yeah. But when we changed it to the project system, we made it so you you could invite people ahead of time and they would just sign off and get on board ahead of time before you publish. And uh, But because we got rid of portal buddies, they could no longer just lazily add 10 friends every time, mm -hmm. like instantly. Right. And I think it just sort of killed off that whole... <coughs> Malicious, yeah. worthless Malicious. fucking group. Yeah, which was kind of a good thing because it always created it always created the feeling of a group of bullies because like one person with with ten friends could all by himself give the impression of a group of bullies like right. acting on someone. They could like you know they could like say this user sucks and put up a flash and there's ten people on it and it really looks like a lot of people. Yeah, you that did person. have to be careful with who you were friends with because you never know. Yeah, or knew rather. Is there anything any of us in this group has made that, you know, you either disgusted or disappointed? Oh, oh yeah. Can I extend this question? Oh, no. Any of us have made or we've done, or we've said or done, where you're like, you motherfucker, you piece of shit, you trash. You could be honest, Tom. No, never, there's never been anything that's totally upsetting. There's just things that make me, like, nervous. Like, what, what? like I think, okay, so I'll try and go in, like, order. Like, I think Street Life was the first thing, the first match <laughs> was that the to my recollection, I remember looking at Street Life and I'm being like, like, wow, it's like, we haven't gone this far on this site yet. <laughs> so I was like, you know, but, uh, so that was like a, a decision point. Oh no, and, uh, there's boobies. What am I yeah. going to do? <laughs> and, uh, and then, uh, I guess with, yeah. with, with Jeff, he did the Pokemon. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that that worried you? Well, you know, you know, I thought about in retrospect. I thought maybe that's because we put that on our YouTube, and I was like, maybe that's why. <laughs> it's got like half dislikes, or maybe that's one of the reasons. That, that was one of that was one of Jeff's best screams. The timing after the pop, and he's like, Aah! and the look on his face, it's just it's genius. The timing, and everything. Was just it's great. weird because by the time that cartoon came out, I feel like so many other things were already quote unquote okay for the site. Yeah, yeah. That that didn't really no, seem no, like it, it was it, too crazy. I've gotten more hate for that than anything. Jeff, that's on, on YouTube. I think that you had, had yeah, you got a lot, a of, lot of unlikes. Yeah. I always <laughs> <lot of, laughs> felt kind of guilty for that. <laughs> and um, do you, wait, do you remember when uh, I, I was like, let's do a Pokemon collab and you made that? What, when I saw the hate that got, yeah. I, I was I felt so bad, oh, dude. The Pokemon collab. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it. I, I was kind of aiming for that. 
Uh, I kind of knew. I knew I'd go out. I don't know who started the Pokemon. Uh, it was me and uh, it was Chris. It was me and someone else. Uh, I think it was me. I, I did a really it? cool yeah, menu yeah, thing. I was going to have people talk to you. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I did, did a few Ash and Sarah. Oh yeah, Poke Ash was supposed to be part of it. So was Hans did a video. Like oh yeah, in the Pokeball. Oh, that's why everyone made Pokemon cards. Yeah, that's why we all did Pokemon cards. And I was the only one who did. And then people people thought it was like a thing, like all the animators were doing, like make Pokemon cartoons. Yeah, everyone thought it was a trick because nobody knew that it was a thing. Now making a Pokemon, that's like your gateway into YouTube because yeah. oh, you all the YouTube yeah. search traffic. But then. it started out as a collab. You just kind of disbanded yeah. people. Yeah, I think you know what? Was the first you, one you, reasons. Chris, and Aaron, and you motherfuckers here, you think you're all the first motherfucking no, first, and off. you're not. You know who did the first one? What? Pendleton Ward. Who's that? He did the farting Pikachu. I didn't say we did the one. first Pokemon card. Right. Oh, Pendleton Ward, an ASD yeah, card yeah, 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 where did this thing came from? Just sit back. Came from. Just, I, made just relax. First, I made the very first <coughs> Minecraft parody cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. No, that's, that's actually I had true. This, I had this like, realization one day where I was like, if Jeff had kept making those Minecraft Oh my god, you could have been its own. Jeff, you would be god right now. You'd literally have more subscribers than the world. I'm a visionary. Jeff's pockets would be filled with those autism fun bucks. You would be the most soulless asshole on the planet. <laughs> your, your ironic stab at shit would have, if you were able to continue that, yeah. without killing yourself, you would be the biggest I, animation uh, guy in fool. the world. I'm, I'm the first person to do a cartoon with Street Fighter characters shitting and puking on each other. <laughs> yes. That's I also idea. think you did the first cartoon with Every, Transformers eating a I'm peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I did the first toast. Toast. Pokemon cartoon with the nurse spreading her ass. I don't think anyone's ever done that. <laughs> no, I Show us your butt. Spread your butt. <laughs> Dude, the nod in that is so perfect. Yeah. With the, their heads going yeah. up and down and you it's can see neck. like the eight the, necks. Really, the only joke was they're it's fucking a toddler kids. Yeah. yeah, they're like Children yeah. looking for pokeballs. Every if you pretty much look up any Street Fighter video on YouTube, there's somebody quoting Stamper's cartoon in the comments. Like it's that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Every, yeah. every fucking every. A lot of people didn't know I made it because I made it and I'd sent it to a couple of people. And I never put my name on Some it. Some scumbag released it. Got leaked, it. Right? And then it, it like got it got it, yeah, it leaked on the Style Project and it got 4chan. huge. Fortune. And nobody even knew I made it because the collab wasn't done yet. Everyone else oh, was yeah. doing their pieces. So one of my uh, piece of shit uh, trustworthy friends decided to pass it around. <laughs> Mick! <laughs> what? <laughs> Aha! It was Mick! No! With the computer with the keyboard! No. Yeah, maybe. Mick, when did you come on the Newgrounds? I can't remember. 2010. 10, 10 right? I don't think I he really was around then, was he? Middle of 2010. Were you around for the Street Fighter Club? When was uh, that? No. I you were He started with Marvel <laughs> Sheet. He came in for some Marvel cartoons. Yeah, my and everyone thought like my Marvel thing was just like this really shitty whatever, but nobody knows that it was actually just a parody of Tom's. Tom's. Yeah, I remember that. Like I people I was and that was like one of my first like it was still within the pocket of my first submissions, so like I felt like I had to justify everything, you know, like when you're first anime, like, no guys, seriously, listen, yeah. it, I'm not th this is what I normally do. I it's still it. do that. I, <laughs> But yeah, it was supposed to be a direct rip of Tom's at the time. I thought you were pretty cool, Nick. And then I met you. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Sorry to disappoint. I remember it's okay. It's okay. the first time I ever got really excited was whenever um, <laughs> I released that, uh, that uh, Pico Day collab thing I did in mm -hmm. like 60 hours. And then I, got, I won the award for the best dick joke. I was like, yes, I got, I got a runner-up award, dude. Because <laughs> like, I just wanted to like get something. Because I thought it was, it was like, it was nonsense. I don't even know why I made that. Like, it was nonsense. Best dick joke. It's the one where you It's the one with Jeff and Tom. Right? I was gonna say, really funny yeah, I guess, oh, were they fucking each other? Yeah. I guess the one I was, I was, <laughs> that's what, awesome, what did you say? The one I was really scared about was fucking. What was he says? I mean, we've talked about it. Allowed me that. Did you do a different one with Jeff? So you animated that for? Is that in Street Fighter Chode? Or was that something? No, Street Fighter Chode was something. No, this was its own submission. Oh, oh, that's right. Chode was a scary day trying to. And that was all you? You, know, you? you just sat there by yourself, you're like, I'm gonna have Jeff and Tom fuck? Yeah. And you did, I didn't even know what, I like. what they were saying to each other. Was what I love is that on. now you work in an saying, office literally with just Jeff and Tom. You're saying, when was the last time you cut your nails? <laughs> we did, would, you have ever conceived, would you have ever conceived of that? When no. you were making that cartoon, oh, no. that in a few years, know. you would be working in an office with Not, not exactly. <laughs> I just thought at the time it'd be funny because everyone else would be making like Pico like 
fighting alongside you, <coughs> then I would just make you do something completely the opposite. Is that the advice that you would give to yes. uh, aspiring creators? Yeah. No. To animate the people that you respect and want to work with in the future. They Fucking. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you never know. They'll hire you years later. Wait, that's another uh, recent thing. Is we, we did that screening in L.A. Uh, this past year of like classic Newground stuff, and Strawberry Clock flew out for it and got the CB on the big screen. So yeah. it's like... Did a he kid cry? trolling the site, you know, yeah. however many years ago. You mean just the letter B on the yeah. screen? Yeah, like now you're getting to see your troll movie, like in a movie theater, <laughs> with a bunch of people cheering and stuff. It's like, that's how long did it stay up there? Because it's just like one frame that never does anything. It's just a big red letter B. It's up there long enough. I think I filmed it actually. I should probably put that somewhere. You're losing time. Mm. <laughs> 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 I remember, crazy. um, uh, like, uh, one, uh, do you, oh, man, like, one of the, I, I don't want to, like, dive back into this, I think I've talked about this a lot, but one of the most scariest times for me was, um, on Newgrounds was, was Chode, submitting Chode, because I, it was about to, like, lose to some, like, shitty mouse game by some foreign country, <laughs> and I was so fucking scared, because these assholes were voting up the mouse game, and all the comments were like, let this win, fuck that, Flash. Oh, they were all doing it in spite of your flash. Oh, absolutely. And and then when it, it was on the page, I was like so happy. But that fucking flash for three solid days, it was bombarded with attention. Like people were coming, they were le dropping zeros left and right. But then I would come back and they would all be gone. Like the zeros would be gone and they'd be tens and then cool. you'd refresh. I thought it was zeros. great. I remember telling Tom, I was like, dude, you need to put this on the front page. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what like, 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 he did. He I didn't felt really nervous. guilty no. about it. That was, it was actually right around when I joined Newgrounds too, because I remember being like, and, wow. Oh, this another is thing intense. is, I know nothing about Street Fighter. Corey. I still don't. Why, not, why don't we take this moment right now to give. Why don't you why don't you give Rian Chan a nice heartfelt apology? Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Play some I, play some sad news go. I'm sorry. I am I am definitely sorry at this point because I never <laughs> meant like for Runka Chunk to be I hope it's not something. But it is, people still call that Cody. <laughs> that's sad. But you know, that wasn't even me. Five years so I'm gonna throw Lyle yeah. under the bus because yeah. he thought of the name. Okay. So Lyle, Lyle the douchebag. You gonna throw Lyle under the oh, bus? Oh Lyle no, listen, okay, Lyle yeah. also had his fucking hand in the stink pile. Uh, when we were making the cartoon, Lyle wrote the crazy over the top fucking tank man like Metal Gear Solid storyline. Yeah. And I wrote this stupid <laughs> bullshit that people quote randomly. And it, it, so like my, that's why it was like a, a parody of a Club, but it also had this like underlining like story. Did you? Did we even mention the name of the cartoon yet? Oh, Street Fighter Chode. Yeah, Street Fighter. Fighter. I, I think we just have like a code name Chode. Mm -hmm. Street, Street Fighter, Fighter Chode. Chode. Watch, it. Watch Corey bully people. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> like 15 minutes. But it was it was how I met like Zach. It was how I, I met. And Chris. I think I think we said it was how I met you. It was how I even. Kind of got your attention at the time. See, the thing is, is, it was so well animated, especially for that time oh, was, period on the site. No, I think for the site though, to see that, to see that, like just with the insanity that was there. I don't and know. Like it was impossible. Being, and to it was just, so self-referential to the community. It's like a, yeah. it was a piece of content that existed. It was so the site existed. Existed. It was. It, it seemed like it was part of the. It was just part of the Newgrounds lore or world. It's basically, yeah. 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 And, and it's like it's like twenty minutes long. Yeah, it's yeah. long. It's a fucking big. And then there's like, wasn't that your art piece that you did for the collab? Yeah, you did it's the it's my favorite the, Newgrounds my, ever. The best thing though, the best <laughs> thing about it though, is is I had this I had this other little scheming plan when I made it. I, that's why I had this like lesbian scene in between each. Each fucking thing. Right. So somebody had to fucking sit through that just to watch the <laughs> next scene, You're and then they would be bombarded with stupid dumb wrong. shit, and it's not funny. It worked but, for me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So they would have to sit through that. So I knew, I, see, I kind of played the system. I knew I would get tens from the fucking horny kids who were like, I hated it, but I liked the girl part, and I'm glad it was in the scene select, so here's a ten. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And that was like a grand majority. What are you doing years. here, Corey? You should be out in LA producing shows for fucking network television. Dude, I have a little mastermind over here. Yeah. You, were, you were like bullying some kid some kid at the end of the cartoon. I don't know who, don't know who he is, but you That was Lyle again. Lyle. <laughs> this kid with uh, greasy hair. He was, uh, was, he was really harmless. Like, Lyle just loved to make fun of him and he's like grease. See, I think tell, 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 just the, the reason why it's scene. okay that you're throwing Lyle yeah, under cool, the bus cool. is because he, if he was here, he would not apologize. Oh, he would. He would, he would own up to it. He'd be oh, like, yeah. I'm so Pressure here. Like Lyle, that's Lyle yeah, impression. Lyle, how Lyle would talk? Lyle, it's good to hear Lyle, you. Okay, so if Lyle was. Lyle, what do you think? Do you apologize for Street Fighter Chode? 
Chode was fun, and he's like, but at the time, because there was also a situation where we were actually in a Skype call um, with, man, that was a whole other thing. Like, after yeah, Chode we, came out, like, fucking bridges were burned, fucking anime. With who? Uh, People like, that, they, they were they were supposed to be burned. Right? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, <they've> been, <laughs> like animators and friends of Raina Chan who, oh. were, who like, and apparently, like, um, people were going around, like, saying, like, oh, he's horrible, he won't pay you, he won't allow you to do anything. So after I made that, I was like, I couldn't get voice work from people because they were like, oh, he's the guy who did shows, don't, don't work with him, he's an asshole. So it kind of, like, but I didn't really care. I guess they were right. Yeah. Sort of. I guess. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> if we're, while we're kind of going on the whole new gods, like, uh, you know, zeros and tens thing, there's, like, kind of a funny story. Years and years ago, there was a user... Jep, Jep has something to do with this, actually. Oh, okay. And that's not bad. There was a user we knew years ago. Oh, no, 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 no don't, dude. Don't say his name. Don't say his name. Holy fuck, that was the best thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm basically, <laughs> this isn't he, a name that starts with a D. Right? <laughs> no. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm not even sure what this is about. No, I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you. He drew Corey a nice birthday picture. It was just this A nice birthday picture. picture. It was and me. The, I had a, his hand around him. I was holding a nice cold brewski. Yeah. And he had a fucking lemonade. Yeah, was this nice is nice picture. Chris, Chris <laughs> gives his zero and says, hey, nice job. Great, great. He cop compliments gives me zero though <laughs> it has like a positive thing then I do it I'm like yeah great job I'll give it zero too then like four other guys did it then yeah. five other guys did it and then this Jeff front page did it <laughs> and at some point the entire community band together yeah, in a beautiful act of unity like Harry Potter George Edgeworth all these people all these big guys to give all give it zero <laughs> zero 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 zero, zero. To compliment. the it's biggest like, guys in the like, fucking site like I love the color you're really good at composition zero <laughs> it, was, like, it was literally like, this is the best five pages like, of Zero. <laughs> this kid's biggest idols, fucking five pages, zero, zero. Just, oh, God almighty. What See, fucking, what? Those are the precious that moments. Precious yeah. moments I'll never forget. Yeah, I, I checked it recently. All the, like, half the reviews are deleted. Yeah, oh, they, 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 thing. But, but also, oh, the thing about that was that, uh, what, me and Zach used to fucking have him on Skype. Oh, you gotta tell the whole fucking yeah. shindig about that stuff, dude. We, he, he was basically just a 13-year-old fan who was like, I really love your cartoons. <laughs> and then we, uh, we'd fuck with him. So, me and Zach, uh, we came up with... Yeah, we just fuck with him. Just <laughs> fuck with him. <laughs> well, well we, we were nice to him at first, but then he kept being annoying. He kept being like, why well, won't you like my cartoons? That's usually so how like, it happens. Yeah, it's like, okay, fuck you. So then we were like... I used to tell him stories where I was like, uh, like... I pretty much made out that, my, that Ireland was like a muddy hole that is surrounded by wolves and we live in cabins and shit. <laughs> so he thought that my like fingers were all gone from wolves and that my parents were dead and that we all had cancer. And then one day we, we told him that, uh, or this was the day I was going to block him because he was annoying me. But like, now he's a nice guy. But anyways, uh, the day where he was annoying me, I was like, listen, dude, I got to go for a few months. And he was like, where, where are you going? And it's like... I'm, I'm gonna be an astronaut, and he was just like, an ast No, you're not. And I was like, I swear, you can ask Zach. And I was like, told Zach, he's like, if asks, uh, tell him uh, I'm going to train to be an astronaut at NASA. And Zach was like, okay. So then he asked Zach. Zach was like, yeah, dude, uh, he's gonna do that. And I was like, oh. And then then he was like, wow, you're really going to be an astronaut. And I was like, yeah, goodbye, dude. It was really nice knowing you. And I blocked him. And then um, and then a few days later, I told Zach to tell him that I had died in a spinning around in a chair yeah, test. He was what's it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Centrifugal force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, Zach, yeah, yeah. Zach told him that my neck broke because my neck was too so thin. You snapped it yeah. and <laughs> And then we went through the trouble of me pretending to sign into my account as my brother Bert, who doesn't exist. <laughs> Basically, you, you changed your Bert? Skype name. You yeah. changed your Skype name to Bert. Bert Tony. Yeah, Bert. I don't know why, but anyways. <laughs> and we were like, listen, uh, was we're, we're, crafty, dude. Yeah, it was really mean, but then we were just like, bizarre of anything. Yeah, looking back on it, really, this is weird. But then we were just like, listen, um, we're gonna have a, a funeral for Chris. Like, he, he's a hero. He was like, okay, I would be there, like a Skype funeral. And then I can't. And we all entered the call, and I pretended to be my dad, and I was just like, like, "My son, my son, my boy's dead." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a song from Leo and Sadie. Yeah. Like a song from Leo and Sadie. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and it was like there was like a faint like, Ooh. Yeah. 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 yeah, and he left. Yeah, 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 and he left. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then that was the last we heard of him. And then, and then I, I signed back into Skype one day, and I was just like. 
I called him and he was just like, hello? And I was like, hey man, what's up? And it was me. And he's like, you motherfucker! And he's just like, you know, actually, did you we forget? Made you no, I, I just wanted to see what he did. We made, you, we made you a rest in peace video. You can find it on... Uh, yeah, that was what the NASA rest in peace video was for. You can find that on oh, yeah. two channels. I think it's on Only With Pebbles. Yeah, it's just... I uploaded yeah. it there. Zach cut out a bit, bunch of pictures of me and MS Paint. We, yeah, yeah, we saw that. Like, uh, that, was, that was for that. That was for him. Yeah, yeah, so... And then I came back months later. I was like, what's up, dude? And he's like, you motherfucker! And he blocked me. <laughs> and then for years he hated me, but now he, he likes me. <laughs> Shout out to that guy. Yeah. Well. Those were the days. Yeah. Oh, the good old days. The good old days. Mick, what was your... What, would you say your, your original experience with your guys was hostile? Because a lot of people hated your guts. I did. Yeah. They hated you. I don't I, know. I just thought you were... I didn't hate you. I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of. No, Chris, I don't know. No, it, Chris was like, I hate that rice part guy. I do, I do kind of hate. He's you. too popular. He's, <laughs> he's in everything. Yeah, it was weird. I don't know. Like, I, it was a break from dick. Yeah, from sucking dick that I did all day long. I was making a chap I was making a goofy. You didn't have to admit to nothing. You know, Log right. into Newgrounds uh, with an aching jaw. No, it was, it was a very weird, Newgrounds was weird, man. It was full of like tons of hate <laughs> that seemed to get approved. And there was just, it was just yeah. such a weird, fucking bizarre world of like strange sprite animations and dick jokes and get, like cookie cutter make it yourself games. I don't know. It was just New like, this, was like the home of the dick joke for like years. Yeah, no, it was really weird. But in all of it, there was clearly a sense of community, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, it was my favorite community. There was definitely like its own lore, which I thought was... There hasn't been a community like Newgrounds for me since. No, I have I not. See. Newgrounds is still... Nothing exists. Newgrounds, Newgrounds is still the definitive... Like, I've never actually. seen a site... Like, I, I'm sure like deviant art people would argue otherwise, and uh, no, I think Tumblrists I would argue otherwise, but, but Tumblr... I, Tumblr and deviant art aren't Newgrounds. Newgrounds no, 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 is not no, no, only no. a form, it was a... You, you know, could it, actually it talk. Things. Yeah, no, and that's the thing, is that like these other sites where they all think that they're kind of the center of the universe, including Reddit, the thing is, is that they all seem to be very homogenous in their thinking. Like, it's like, well, you're either, you're either with us or you're, or you're against us kind of thing, versus Newgrounds, I felt, was very yeah, open to a, such a wide range of people, and it yeah. wasn't just a wide range of people, it was a wide range of people who could accept a wide range of people. Yeah. Like, you know, like me or Tom or, or whatever, like, yeah, we're a little bit older. I, I joined it when I was 30. Say, there's like little groups here and there. Yeah, but I could still laugh other. at the dick jokes, yeah. and I could still understand the hate. And even when people would troll the site and like, you know, they'd plug their flash in and, and downvote things, I still, a part of me still thought it was kind of funny, like even though I didn't appreciate it to a degree. I don't know, it's like, I just felt like everybody understood and nobody it was a place where it was like nobody got banned essentially essentially mm -hmm. nobody got banned unless you really fucked up unless you really genuinely fucked up but I mean dude you're talking about a, a site where people are posting I'm gonna burn down <coughs> my school and then <laughs> the next post is hey I just had some kids and you know it's like congratulations you faggot uh, you know whatever yeah but I don't know like it just seemed like everything I don't know it, it, I enjoyed it a lot. It was a really I bizarre think, experience on the internet. I was gonna say it was a fun community. It was a fun place to learn how to be an asshole. And yeah, no, hate yeah. Yourself years you later. see, it's not so much that like I was a piece of shit. I don't thing. think of like things that could be like I could submit a cartoon and get like you know like look for trophies and then review and comment on people. It's just that like. Now I, I I would like to have something like I want to work towards something instead of like putting something out there. I'd rather have a big term goal of what I'm doing and I can work up to it. Yeah. With before it was like I was kind of I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was just sort of releasing cartoons now and then and stuff. And it, it, it's kind of funny too because at first when I first came to Newgrounds, like I said, I, I just made really trolly shit loud noises like the awful shit I was no better than the people who did fucking clock <laughs> flashes I, I made those loud you were videos the worst with of fucking, the worst. yeah I was the worst you were fucking bottom um, boy. but then like I when I released Chode, I kind of got this like realization where it's like anytime I worked on something, I ended up putting more effort into it. And then when I released it, like people were like, "You should just keep doing this." And I was like, "Okay." And then I just that's what I did. I stopped doing like really, I I didn't want to do lazy animation. I wanted to do really fluid stuff. And then I started looking at like Harry showed me how he animated. Yeah, see, I think that's the thing too is like because in other environments where people are quick to ban, like it's, they don't like what you're saying or doing, you're out. 
That's I, 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 right, but I think with Newgrounds, the thing that was so healthy was that people could be fucking assholes or they could do stupid shit. But like, if they put in time and effort into something, you know, you'd get reviews like, "Dude, what the fuck is up with these jokes? You're such you, a you fucking can, troll." Can, but I, dude, I, the animation's amazing. Oh yeah, you, you, could, always, you know, I would always review like, that. If you'd like, if you'd like to look at uh, some reviews, uh, look at look at Corey and I's older reviews. Uh, uh, I, too. Yeah, yeah I would. I would always there. look at. And it's funny too because I used to review, and my first reviews were just <clears throat> trolly, jokey shit. But you start to see like the evolution of like, okay, well, I'll look at a cartoon and I'll be like, I look like this. Look, this <coughs> isn't funny. It's like you aren't funny, but this cartoon is really good. And you should keep animating. It was just interesting because, you know, like, sometimes with your friends, like, you'll call each other, like, faggot or retard or whatever. We're joking around. We're making I'm fun not of each other. Seriously. <laughs> I know you are. Uh, but I, I think, like, you sometimes... I think sometimes people, especially if they're growing up, they don't necessarily understand the context of that type of behavior. Well, that's the thing, too, is we... It, 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 it. You you were, you were a little bit older at first when you got right. new grounds. You have all these people who are 15, 16, right. 17 who are just fucking berating you. Right. It's a different a different world almost. It is. It is a different world. But I was going to say, occasionally I'd see, like, you know, like Stamper and, and Jeff and, and some of you guys, um, you know, you guys made these cartoons that were clearly either kind of trolly or out there or not They're PC or whatever. Always working on something or kind of... Right. And yet, know, you know. and yet there were times I remember seeing certain projects